now that 2023 is in full swing, what do we do with the oil and gas complex? Now, look, energy was the best performing so sector of all 2022. Most of those gains came earlier in the year. Later, the market turned very negative in the group as recession fears grew and fossil fuel prices just plummet. Even though oil prices have rebounded nicely over the last month, it seems sometimes like I'm the only one who still feels constructive about the industry. And by the way, it's very hard to feel constructive about natural gas, which seems to go nowhere. But you know what? I'm sticking to my guns. I'm sticking to my guns because over the past few days, we've heard from all three major oil service companies, not oil companies, but service companies. And they're the best source of information on where the energy industry is headed. I think they collectively painted a pretty positive picture. Friday was SLB, that's formerly Schlumberger. Yesterday was Baker Hughes. Then this morning, we got Halliburton, which I like so much that I own it for the charitable trust. Let's take them one by one. Okay, SLB reported a nice top and bottom line beat with 27% revenue growth. This is a very big company, people, year over year, and 73% earnings growth. Cash flow a little light, but I'm not worried about that because the artist formerly known as Schlumber Schlumberger also gave us a 43% dividend boost. Now, this kind of dividend hike is a strong sign of confidence in the future, specifically confidence about the ability to generate cash. Hey, look, unlike a buyback where you can walk away from it if you want, companies are loath to cut their dividends. Too embarrassing. Because of the cash flow number, though, the stock got dinged a little on Friday, lagging far behind the averages. But, man, if you listen to that conference call like I do, there's a lot to like. Even though SLB says that when it comes to U.S. land drilling, the pace of growth is moderating, when it comes to the rest of the world and offshore drilling, business is booming. CEO Oliver LePush called it a distinctive new phase in the upcycle, with revenue up double digits versus the previous quarter in Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and the UAE. Yet the Gulf states are drilling like crazy again. More important, SLB made it clear that pricing is trending favorably. That's the key thing here. Thanks to both new technology and also a shortage of equipment and service capacity in certain key markets so they can raise rates. Overall, the company remains incredibly bullish about the year, saying that they expect another year of, quote, very strong growth and margin expansion, end quote. What's not the light? That's what I'm looking for. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.